What's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Shooter. We are out here in the desert today and I am going to do a follow-up video after I mounted and installed this Arc and Optic Scope onto my UPR15 upper from UN to Precision. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to go ahead and show you my method to how to get a zero on a rifle, hopefully five shots or less. So I set my box up at 25 yards, put a nice little crosshair on it just with the Sharpie. Super simple, really easy when you're out here in the desert. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bore scope the rifle, which means I'm going to look down the barrel, get it set up on target, and then adjust the scope to sit onto that crosshair. So really simple. I mean, I've just got some ammo, a box, and a little bean bag here. I'm going to get my barrel set up dead on target at that 25 yard mark. Alright guys, the tip for when you're bowler sighting is to go ahead and look through the barrel with one eye closed and then open both eyes. Your brain's going to collide that vision together and it'll bring your box into more clarity so you can actually see what you're aiming at through the barrel. Sometimes when you're looking through that small bore diameter, a little tough, uh, things kind of go blurry on you. So open up both eyes, that helps me out a ton. Then always continue to double check that your barrel is still sitting on target after every adjustment on your scope. Obviously this isn't super rigid, so I'm making sure to check it basically every time I touch the scope. But it's looking like we're within about an inch of what I'm trying to do here. I'm gonna call that good for my first shot. It should put my bullet right on the box here at 25 yards. Okay guys, we've got a rifle bore sighted at 25 yards. You might be asking why as a long range shooter would you want to shoot 25 yards? Now, I've got nothing to prove when I'm zeroing my rifles. So if I'm shooting this box at 25 instead of 100, mathematically my target is four times the size and easier to hit at 25 yards. Especially when it's an unknown, like you just put a scope on a gun, make your target as big as possible. I'd shoot at a barn door if I could, but I've only got this box because that's what was in my backseat of the truck. I've got my five rounds laid out here. So I'm gonna shoot once at 25 yards. Let's see where she lands. This is a 224 Valkyrie from UN to Precision. Now, one other reason why I will go with 25 yards instead of any closer is typically your scope can't parallax and focus on something that close. So 25 is just a nice round number. It's easy to get everything zeroed in on. But looks like my bullet impacted left and high. So I'm gonna use my first focal plane within this scope to adjust right and down. Now something to think about, because we're at 25 yards instead of 100 yards, one MOA is a quarter inch, not one inch. So if I'm trying to move this one inch right, I would have to adjust that four MOA right. Now because this one's in mils, this one's probably gonna be just over one and a half mils or so right. So let's take a look. I'll measure it with my first focal plane. It makes everything so simple. That's why I really love first focal planes. At any range, I can measure and adjust correctly. I don't have to worry about what yardage I'm at. My scope will tell me exactly what I need to adjust with a first focal plane. Yep, so we need to come to right. It landed to left. I'm going to adjust it to right because this scope's telling you where you want your bullet to go. I want it to impact further right, so I need to adjust right. Remember that, it will help you not dial the wrong way. Okay guys, I wanna bring it down one and a half. Half, one, there we go. Now, I'm gonna try and do this in less than five shots. So I made my adjustments here at 25. I'm not even gonna shoot at 25 again. I know I'm hitting cardboard here and I know that I adjusted it closer to the crosshair. Let's go ahead and push it out to 100 yards now. Here's a quick and up close view of our target. Like I say, it hit high and left. So I adjusted it right and down and uh, we're gonna see where that puts us at 100 yards. One shot at 25 yards, got it right on cardboard thanks to bore siding. That saves you a ton of ammo. I highly suggest doing some bore siding before you fire your first round.
Now, I always prefer to have my rifle set at 100 yard zero. If you want to set yours further out, maybe 200 yards, more of a typical hunting zero, um, I would go ahead and do one confirmation shot at 100 and kind of do what I just did at 25. Get it on target, adjust what you think you need to, and then go ahead and move on to your 200 yard or whatever your preference is for a zero. As you can see behind me, my truck is sitting back there 100 yards. I'm at the 100 yard line. Let's see what we can get on this target out at 100. Okay guys, second round through the gun today. Let's take it out at 100, see where she lands. Don't forget to change your parallax out to 100 yards. Okay, looks like I landed one mil high. Looks like I landed about an inch or so left. So let's go ahead and adjust that down. That's pretty typical. If you're shooting at 25 yards, your bullet should impact just under the crosshair. I adjusted for right on, kind of as a way to demonstrate it. So let's take a look. That was shot number two. Now the reason I choose five shots is I like to try and shoot a group with my last three. So I've got three rounds left. Hopefully my corrections here are putting me right on target. We'll see where it gets us. Let's see if we can get her zeroed into three shot group in under five rounds. Okay, let's go down range, see what happened at 100 yards. And here we are at 100 yards. 25 yards, one shot, made my adjustment to get it zeroed. It impacted quite high. I wonder if I dialed the wrong way by accident. It happens, 100 yards, first shot at 100 yards, made my correction, came down. Looks like I overcorrected right, but the elevation looks pretty spot on. And then a three shot group, right around an inch, not my prettiest group ever, but just trying to get it done for the video. I would say this is close enough to zero. Obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it left. I'll be bringing down one tenth as well. Well, like I mentioned, guys, I have nothing to prove when zeroing my rifle. I've gone out and wasted a lot of time and ammo, both are expensive, trying to zero my rifle at 100 yards to start. I highly recommend this process. I've done quite a few different rifles for testing, and let me tell you, this is the easiest, most straightforward way to do it. And it only takes you about five rounds with a three shot group at 100 yards. Cannot complain about that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned some tips and tricks. Comment below what your process was. Let me know if you want to try this one too. I really appreciate you guys' time and we will see you in the next one.